second prize It's between to you tonight You'll hear a second prize Yeah Yeah Hey everybody, how's it going? It's me again. I'm doing a couple of viewer request videos. I do those, by the way. And one of the requests was to talk about the Omni Lords. Now, I had made a video back in 2018 talking about them, but apparently I deleted it and. Yeah. But in that video, I made a statement which I still stand behind. Because I still believe it. That the Christian God, Yahweh, Jehovah, whoever you want to call it. The same God to the Jews, the same God to the Christians. And it's various sections. is this Omni-Lord for this dimension. But if you want to get weird, pretty much the architect or the machine king in the Matrix. As I know a couple of people like to believe that life is like the Matrix. So... Uh, I discovered the Omni Lords back in 2013, 2012. Um, I was watching a spiritualist on YouTube uh, named Jordan Womble. Uh, his videos are still up. Um, you may not agree with him, but... You know, some of the stuff he was talking about, you know, kind of hit home for me. You can find him here on YouTube. Uh, just type in Jordan Womble. And one of his channels, Farmer Gutu, will come up. And I learned of the Omni Lords from him. And then I tried to do research into it, and I couldn't find nothing at the time. But I started putting things together over the years. You know. And then it was the fuckingest, stupidest thing that put it all together, and that was fucking Dragon Ball Super. Which goes back to Jordan Womble because in his uh, video talking about it, he referred to Dragon Ball Z. So the Omni Lords are the gods of gods. Kind of like uh, Kronos was the god of the Titans. Uh, his children. Or, no. Forgive me, I am not that well versed in Greek mythology. But, basically, Kronos, his son Zeus, there. There you go. Now, I believe that there are three. And... If I could still draw worth a shit, you know, I would sketch out what I believe them to look like. And I can tell you that my intuition, which is 60% right, 60% of the time, every time, tells you that they are in really ornate clothing. Wearing masks that have a blank features and some real weird freaky shit. But, um, 
you know, I try to spend my time trying to learn about them, but what what really is there to learn? They're the gods of gods. I mean, I mean, it's case in point, you know. Now, why do I believe three? Because three is a magic number. Duh. When you see three a lot, especially in magic, like the law of three and all that, that some people choose to believe in, and, you know, things come in threes, and, you know, it just sort of makes sense, doesn't it? So when, you know, Christians and Jews and stuff call out to God, they're referring to him. Because in some Bibles, you know, take it for what it's worth, um, has stated that, you know, God saying to, you know, don't worship other gods, you know. The Bible admitting that there are other gods, just like the Bible admitted that there was other people besides Adam and Eve. And when you really think about it, maybe he created these other people first, but then he made Adam and Eve to be the start of his, you know, chosen people, which is the Jewish people. You know, we get that God's chosen, you know. Again, take it for what it's worth. Um, I'm not a biblical scholar. I'm just an amateur. And I'm just piecing things together the way I see it. You know. But, you know, if... Say he is. And he's a pretty fucked up Omni Lord, huh? But, uh, but then again, that goes with, you know, saying like, you know, the, the lower gods. You know. And then some gods, you know, saying, hey, I want you to succeed, but we'll watch you, but, you know, we're not going to interfere. You know, it's, it's whatever, you know. I really have nothing else to say because that's really it. You know, it's the God of gods, you know. I believe, I personally believe that there's three and they're outside time and space as we know it. Controlling everything. And then when, you know they do interfere, it's the one we know. So, technically, you can, if you choose to, you can worship the other gods and still have a connection to the Omni Lord. Now, where does Jesus fit in with this theory? Well, nothing changes. That's it. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to come find me on social media, my links are in the description. And I'd be interested in hearing what you think. And, uh... I hope you have a good day, good night, good afternoon, wherever you are, I love you all.